Welcome back. Well, today's story is a story from the Bible, and it's by an author that we've read her books before. I think the most recent is The Big Fish, telling us about the story of Jonah. But this time, it's about John the Baptist and Jesus. Are you ready? Let's read. The Baptism of Jesus, written by Catherine Sully, illustrated by Simona San Filippo. Catherine Sully lives in the beautiful city of Bath in the United Kingdom and has written over 100 children's books. After studying narrative method in college, she began work as an editor in children's publishing and then eventually started writing herself. She reminds us she grew up on a mountain in Wales before moving to the seaside. And when she was growing up, her books and doll Jimmy, who she still has, were her constant companions. Simona San Filippo is a children's book illustrator who lives and works near Turin, a magical town in the north of Italy, even though she has a big passion for Brittany in France. She loves oceans and snowy lands, nature walks, travel, handmade things, and photography. And stacks of books, vases of flowers, and French music fill her free time. Jesus had a cousin named John. John traveled through the desert preaching. He had no fine clothes or food. His clothes were made of camel hair tied around his waist with a leather belt. He lived on locusts and wild honey. John had an important message for everyone he met. John told them, Ask God to forgive all the bad choices you have made. Live a better life, and it will lead to the kingdom of heaven. How do we do that? asked the crowd. Come to the river today, and I'll wash your sins away, said John. Day after day, people came from far and wide to the river Jordan. One by one, John dipped them in the river to wash away their sins. I am baptizing you with water, he said, but someone else will come after me who will baptize you with God's love. The people wondered who he could mean. One day, Jesus came from Galilee to the river Jordan to be baptized. Why do you want me to baptize you, asked John. You should be baptizing me. Let's do it this way for now, said Jesus. So John baptized Jesus in the River Jordan. As soon as Jesus was baptized, heaven opened and God's love came down like a dove. A voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. Could this man, Jesus, be the Son of God? The people wondered. After he was baptized, Jesus went into the desert. For 40 days and 40 nights, he was alone in the desert. The hot sun beat down and the desert wind blew. He had plenty of time to think. Jesus had nothing to eat. He was very hungry. Then the devil came to test Jesus with bad thoughts. He whispered in Jesus' ear, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. But Jesus replied, We can't live just on bread. We need God's love, too. The devil took Jesus to a high tower. Then the devil whispered a second time, 
If you are the son of God, he said, throw yourself off this tower. God's angels will catch you. But Jesus replied, if we have trust in God, we don't need to test him. The devil took Jesus to a mountaintop. For a third time, the devil whispered, if you worship me, I will give you all the kingdoms of the world. But Jesus replied, no, go away. We should only worship God. Jesus pushed the devil away. Then angels came and looked after him. When Jesus came back from the desert, he received bad news. His cousin John had spoken out against the king and had been put in prison. Jesus remembered what John had said. From that time on, Jesus told everyone he met, Ask God to forgive all the bad choices you have made. Live a better life, and it will lead to the kingdom of heaven. The end. So, did you enjoy it? Did you notice the farm animals sounds that we added to the story? I mean, if your mom or dad were reading it to you, or an older brother or sister, they probably would have made the cheep, 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 or bah sounds, or maybe you did as they were reading it to you, right? And one piece of information, Catherine Sully says, the devil took Jesus to a high tower. And she doesn't explain that that was actually the temple in Jerusalem, you know, the big special place. And it sort of represented that, oh yeah, there's the temple here, but you can prove that you're the son of God by jumping off and everybody will go, oh, right? And that wasn't what Jesus was interested in, was it? He knew who he was. And his mission was a little bit different than that, right? So why don't you tune in next week and we'll have a different story. See you later. Bye-bye.